Hi, this is Graham from Genoms Astro. Right now, there's an opportunity to take an amazing picture of a comet. It's called Comet Nearwise, and it's a naked eye comet. It's visible in the north, very low down in the mornings from the northern hemisphere. So you're gonna need five things to take a picture. It's all very simple. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. First thing you're gonna need is a view of the northern horizon. So you need to be able to see an object that's around 10 degrees above the horizon. So looking down my drive, those trees about 50 meters away, they're too high. There are about 20 degrees at the top of those trees. But if you see between the two trees where that chimney is, top of that chimney is around 10 degrees. So first thing is to find somewhere, whether it's from your garden or whether you need to walk to a different location uh, or drive, you need to find somewhere with a clear view towards the north, between the north and the northeast, close to the horizon. The second thing you need is a camera. I'm using a digital SLR with a 50 millimeter lens, so it's the standard lens. You could use a range of lenses as long as you can take um, control of the camera settings and take an exposure that lasts several second settings in a manual mode, then your camera is going to do. Item number three, a tripod. Any tripod will do. I've got a little travel tripod like this, but a normal photo tripod Basically anything that's going to allow you to attach your camera, point it in a given direction and for it to be held there firmly for a few seconds. So I've got my uh, small tripod, I'm going to attach the camera. So item number four is a clear forecast. So basically you need to have uh, a night where there are no clouds. So check the weather forecast before you go to bed. Um, maybe use an app on your phone, there's a lot of good um, apps to give you good forecasts that are linked to astronomy so there's one called clear outside for example but basically don't bother getting up if it looks like it's going to be cloudy or if it's going to be raining for example and the last thing you're going to need is an alarm clock so currently the comet is visible in the early hours so I've been setting my alarm for three o'clock that gives you about an hour to take pictures before the sun starts to brighten the sky a little bit too much so you're going to need to set the alarm clock and get up early so here we are, it's uh, 3 a.m. This is a video from my iPhone, so it's just giving you an idea, really, of the sort of uh, scene you might see. In the clearing between the trees, in the middle of the frame, you should be able to see the comet. Now, to your naked eye, it's more impressive than this, but this gives you an idea of what Comet Nearwise looks like. And all I'm doing is taking seven second exposures. With this 50 millimeter lens, seven seconds is the maximum length of time you can take a frame without the stars trailing, so they will appear as dots in this frame. If you've got a longer focal length lens, that's fine. Just take a shorter exposure, maybe four seconds, and increase the speed of the camera, the ISO setting. Basically, just play around, take lots of frames, and see how they turn out. And take care that you've got good focus. So here are some of the results. So this is the first night I tried. This is with single frame, seven second exposure at speed 400 captures the comet quite nicely but the sky is quite light so the next time I got up a bit earlier the sky is a little bit darker and I got this image again just a single frame and then you can play around you can crop parts of the image and get some quite nice results so hopefully you can see it's very simple just experiment take lots of frames and maybe some of them will come out well you've basically got until the end of July with the comet rising earlier each night moving into the evening sky. Okay, hope it's been useful. If you like this sort of video, please subscribe to Genoms Astro and thanks for watching.